sick or I have been sick for the past week during final season. Today is my last day of undergrad and I have my last class today. So I just want to document everything because everything's coming to an end. It's kind of scary. It's the weekend before finals week so I have a lot to do. I think this is one of my hardest quarters yet. I have this cough and it just won't go away. Like I feel fine, I think but I just keep coughing, so I can't like go anywhere without coughing. Finals week is really the only time in the whole quarter where I spend the entire weekend just studying. But I still had a lot of fun finding new cafes and ways to romanticize the stressful uni life. I realized I really like studying more with friends and going out to cafes even if I have to spend a bit of money. I think it's worth it to motivate myself to get to work and we all deserve a little treat sometimes. The key really is to just find what works for you and roll with it because at the end of the day, you are earning your own grades and no one can judge you for that. For once, I started studying for finals way earlier than usual. Ironic that it took me four years to stop procrastinating. Even though I look super productive in my vlogs, I promise you, your girl is honestly a crammer and I usually wait until a few days before an exam to even start learning or reviewing. But this neuroanatomy lab, I have met my match because it is probably the hardest class I've ever taken in my entire life and I cannot afford to cram. It's been really difficult learning how to effectively memorize again after so long, but our learning assistant was so kind to share all her notes and it was honestly the best resource in the course. If your professor isn't teaching material in a way that makes sense to you, that's totally okay and there's no shame in outsourcing or going to office hours to learn in a way that works best for you. self-care because my skin is dying from stress. Today was my last day of 
last official day of undergrad and it couldn't have ended any better. Today was such a good day. I got to catch up with a friend and go to a cafe. I accepted a summer internship today, which is crazy. I'm so grateful and I feel so relieved. I was so worried about this for so long. I watched my friends perform at their band concert. Did I get a lot of studying done? No, but that's a tomorrow problem. You know when you just have those really good days? Today is definitely one of them. By the way, I'm wearing the Innisfree clay mask. My sister brought it for me. I'm just gonna go to sleep early and try to wake up tomorrow to actually study. Good night. So Han and I studied for a good like five hours, four hours. I'm going to head to the library because a few of my classmates from my lab class wanted to go over everything so we can try to memorize the entire brain structure. My dad got jokes today because I complained to my family. I said, would someone like to memorize this for me? Oops. And I sent him a photo and I said, my brain can't memorize the brain. My mom said, I can't even remember where I put my car keys when we go out so I can't help you. And my dad said, why would you need to memorize? It's already in your brain. Thanks dad, that's really helpful. I'm just gonna study with my friends for a bit more and then I think I'm gonna call it a day because my I keep getting more sick. Like I just, I need to heal and I need to memorize and I need to study and finals is winning so I can't, I can't rest. My housemate 
<laughs> Got me some ginger shots. Getting sick during exam season is not fun. That is so spicy. If that doesn't cure me. It's raining, but I think I'm more productive when I study out of the apartment. So I'm gonna find somewhere to study again because I was really productive yesterday actually. I will get better. I will get better. Hey, taking medicine. Cheers. try to get a good four to five hour studying session Getting sick during finals really sucked, but it taught me an important lesson along the way. You really can't expect yourself to work at full capacity 100% of the time. Getting sick is your body's way of telling you to slow down and take a breather. I wish I didn't wait until I was this sick to start taking care of myself because in the end, I just ended up getting even more sick for a longer period of time. Don't ignore early signs of your body telling you to rest, and this goes for your mental health too. You don't need to wait for an excuse to put yourself first. You deserve better than that. for like two and a half hours but I'm gonna go pick up some food I'm very cold and I started coughing a lot so I'm just gonna keep studying at home in the library Oh, <laughs> 